game here is far from being done. Uh, still a lot of little glitches here and there. Um, but I figure at this point we can make like a pre-alpha version package. Um, I mean, anyone can download the blend files now, and if they have Blender installed, you know, start them up. But let's make a little standalone package. Um, see if you don't have Blender. Uh, this would be how I be distributing the game in a way. Uh, I'm sure a lot will change towards the end. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to click on here, we're going to go to user preferences, and under add-ons we're going to search for runtime, so let's type in run, and you can see game engine save as game engine runtime. We will check that, and we will then close this, and now if we go up to file, we can go to export, and there's going to be an option for save as game engine runtime. We'll click that, uh, and I'm going to create a folder I'll just call it um, runtime. So by creating, uh, typing at the end of the top line here, the new folder, I'll hit enter and I'll say, do you want to create a new directory? Hit enter again. Um, I will call this, uh, we'll say pop v zero dot three dot eight because that's the version we're at so I'll create that folder and then right now I'm on Linux 64-bit uh, um, so I'm gonna write in another folder Linux 64 and I'll hit enter and of course I'll have to do this for a 32-bit I probably could just do a 32-bit because it'd probably run fine on 64 but since I'm on 64 might as well do it and then as far as uh, Windows and Mac, I'll have to go to a Windows machine, and I'll probably do that soon. And I'll also do the same for Macs eventually, but I don't have really access to a Mac uh, machine, an Apple machine. So uh, those releases will be a little bit behind all the others because um, there's no way for me to do it on a regular basis because I can't just load that up in a virtual box, at least not legally and without a lot of headache. So I'm sorry to Mac users, there will be standalone versions, but for now you're going to have to download the blend files and start it up in Blender yourself. But don't worry, I'm not completely forgetting about you. And then in here, I'm going to type in, I'll just say, um, what do we want to call it? We'll call the main executable, we'll call it just POP. And we'll click Save Runtime. Now, let me... Uh, go to that and we will click here and there is our runtime file if I and you can see it comes with a folder here that has all the little Python scripts and stuff it needs so basically I'm going to end up zipping this up into a zip file you exact the zip file and file and just double click that and we should get I open up on my other screen here here's the game in a window. You can also, uh, there should be a way to set it to go to full screen automatically. Um, we got our cursor, we got our menu here, and uh, whoop, still have a little bit of a glitch in the menu every once in a while. Like I said, we're still working on uh, the game here, but you'll notice there's no sound. Why is that? Well, I've packaged the images into the game, and I bet I've probably missed a few. But we haven't packaged the sound in. So what we need to do is package in any external files. Uh, so what we're going to do, we'll sit escape here. Now you'll notice, let's first look at this. Um, right now the game is 35 megabytes. That's because it has all those images and stuff packaged into it. Of just that, if I actually take these, I can compress them into a, uh, a compressed file of some sort. For Linux, I would do a tar GZ for Windows users. I probably use zip, and that compresses it down to 16 megabytes. Um, and of course, once we add more levels, because we're going to be uh, packaging everything into the level, uh, the levels. As I said, we're going to try to make the game modular, which means each level is going to contain all its own data, which is going to make the game a lot larger than need be, but makes it more portable and more modular. So anyway, I will. 
delete that for now. And uh, in fact, I'm going to delete everything in this folder. And I'm going to go back here. And what we need to do, if you're going to have to do this too, if you're ever going to create your own uh, uh, level for this game, is go File. See here we have External Data. Package into Blend File. And that should take all the external sounds and all the external images and package them into the blend file. Now if we do export, save as game runtime, and we put that back in the folder we want it in, we'll call it pop. And we switch back over to here. Now we can highlight this. It's a little bit bigger. What, what did I say it was before? 36. Now it's 38. I don't remember. But uh, I'll double click that. It opens up here. Once again, I can click here to maximize it for now. And we have sound. Now we still do have some issues with the sounds. Especially when the level complete. Means here it's kind of clippy and jerky. I've had some people complain about that. And I, once again, reminding you the game is still in development. Um, cue to quit. Um, and that's an issue that some sound cards have with... Uh, uh, it's not... The sound uh, processing isn't, from what I've read, done within Blender. It's using other applications. Um, and it's just a problem with some sound cards. Obviously, I'm having that issue. Um, and you could probably fix the game by using some Pi game scripts. Um, but I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to fix that in the future. But I just want to let you know that the game is still in early phases and is still being developed. So just to let you know, because I am getting a lot of comments on complaints about little glitches in the game, and it's just like, uh, well, it's still being worked on. So anyway, I'm going to package this up uh, for Linux 64, Linux 32, and, uh, and Windows... Um, probably 32 just because it will run on both and that's what I have access to right now and eventually for Mac as well um, but if it's not available for your OS currently just install Blender and download the blend files and um, I'll probably have a, uh, a package of uh, universal just the blend files sounds and images that you can download and open up in Blender as well so expect to see that these files up on the website. So go to filmsbychris.com forward slash POP and uh, there should be a link in the description and you should be able to download the standalones. Once again, we're still in early stages. Next we're going to start working on menus and other options. Um, and besides a few little glitches here and maybe some artwork, um, we are coming along with the level design. So a lot of it now we're going to be working on is just tweaking the levels and um, and menu design. So we're definitely moving along. Thank you for watching. I thank you for your support. And I hope that you have a great day.